data video how-to tutorials. Before you watch this video, be sure to update your data video PTC 50 or PTC 50 t to the latest firmware. For a tutorial on how to do that, click the link in the description below. Now that you have the latest firmware installed, let's learn how to white balance the data video PTC 50 and PTC 150 t pan tilt zoom cameras. First, we're going to learn how to set a custom white balance inside of the Data Video PTC 50 camera menu. Now, for this tutorial, our white card is actually just a sheet of super white cardstock. You could use a non glossy white sheet of paper or a piece of white foam board and still get really accurate results. But for the best results, you should buy a professional white balance card. As you can see as we zoomed in, the white balance has changed and looks incorrect. That's because the camera was set to auto white balance. To avoid this problem in the future, we're going to set it to a custom white balance, which will lock the PTC 50 white balance no matter where you're pointing on your set. To do this, enter the camera menu, select camera set normal, then choose white balance and select mode. While we are here, let's quickly learn about each white balance setting in the PTC 50 so you can see what's best for you. First, we have the manual white balance mode, MWB. This is for use for dialing in specific red and blue values. Next is 3200K indoor, which is the same color temperature as tungsten lighting. 5600K outdoor, which is the same color temperature as daylight lighting. 2500K lamp, which is the same color temperature for most fluorescent lighting. AWC one push, white balance, which is for setting a custom white balance on a white card like this. And finally, ATW slash AWB for auto white balance, which will adjust the white balance as you move the camera around your set. After you have zoomed into your white card so that only white is in the shot, scroll back to one push white balance and select it. This will set the value for white for whatever is in the frame. If you have a data video RMC180, you can do the white balance process in the camera menu or use the white balance options on the controller. To one push white balance on the data video RMC180, press the A button once and then press and hold it for two seconds and let go. This will set a custom white balance on a white card as we did before. And then at the end is auto white balance. The B button on RMC180 switches to whatever the camera has set for the manual white balance option, which once again is dialing in specific values for red and blue to set a custom white balance temperature. To learn more about that, check out the manual for the PTC 50 or PTC 50T. Let's go back to one push white balance. To show you how it works, we have actually zoomed into a blue part of the set and told the camera to read that as white. As a consequence of that, when we went back to our actual white card, it now appears yellow. So let's fix it by doing one push white balance once again. Now the card looks white and our set is going to have a very accurate white balance. To check for accuracy, we put our clapboard into the shot with simple color bars and everything seems to look good. Using all of the steps that we just went over, you can now quickly and efficiently get accurate white balance for any shooting location. If you have any questions, be sure to check the links in the description below. For more tutorials and the latest news from Data Video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Here at Data Video, we enjoy helping you get the most out of your Data Video equipment. Thanks for watching.